Tonight, tragedy in Colorado Springs after a gunman attacks an LGBTQ nightclub. Huge crowd turned out for this interfaith service in the Springs. This is Transgender Day of Remembrance, a day set aside to remember those killed in anti-trans violence. And on this night, they're remembering those killed and wounded in the shooting. Trans Day of Remembrance is extremely important to know, respect, and understand. It's important to me because I am a transgender man. What happened at Club Q the night before this day was absolutely heartbreaking for me to wake up to. And it's sad that so many of us have become numb to this kind of tragic event because it happens all too often. And this really goes to show just how much work there is to be done, especially with many politicians trying to undo years of progress. Two of the five people killed at the Club Q shooting were Daniel Aston, 28-year-old transgender man and bartender at Club Q, and Kelly Loving, 40-year-old transgender woman and patron of Club Q. The other three victims were Ashley Paw, a 35-year-old mother, Derek Rump, 38-year-old bartender at Club Q, and Raymond Green Vance, 22-year-old who was at Club Q to celebrate a friend's birthday. This day is meant to recognize many trans lives lost in anti-trans violence. A recent report states that at least 32 transgender and gender non-conforming people have been killed in the U.S. just this year. That's not counting the recent loss we just experienced. The Human Rights Campaign stated the number of deaths may actually be higher than what is reported because the deaths of many trans people often go unreported or victims are misgendered by the police and media outlets. So let's take this moment to respect and recognize the lives lost. For those that remain, we must be resilient and continue to push for change, for equality, and for justice. For our Delta College students, know that there are safe spaces on campus. Good people do not tolerate any sort of hate or discrimination on this campus. You are seen you are heard and you are loved. There are many ways to get educated and to support transgender people all over by supporting trans-owned businesses, donating to nonprofit organizations, and so much more. There are resources on campus as well. Some of those resources include the counseling department, the Pride Center, and the Pride Club. Now, if we could please have a moment of silence. Thank you.